Hello. I'm David Starty from BBC's history program on the philosophers of the 17th century. Today, I will be talking about John Locke, one of the most influential philosophers of the entire century. In politics, Locke is known as the father of classical liberalism. In psychology and epistemology, Locke's theories on the mind provide for an array of contemporary ideas. Locke was born in Rington, Somerset, England, in the year of our Lord, 1632. Locke's own father fought against the Stuart monarchy in the elected parliamentary forces. Although Locke grew up to be a man of letters and logic, he quickly became part of the political and social sphere of England. Locke was good friends with Anthony Ashley Cooper, Earl of Shaftesbury. Cooper was viewed as a radical in the political sphere of England. Because of Shaftesbury, in the year 1682, Locke was forced to flee to Holland after a failed rebellion against the Stuart monarchy. During this period, Locke began to publish his Treaties of Government. The first of these rejected uh, the absolute government and ruined the patriarchal model for all subsequent political thinkers and philosophers. The second Treaties of Government ah talks about the social contract, which is a deal between the government and its populace. The government must fulfill its deed as a good ruler, or it is the responsibility of the populace to replace it. Mom, I have to go. I'll call you later. Locke views humans in their natural state as one of happiness and equality, as opposed to Thomas Hobbes. Locke thinks that the government should be a protector of liberty, not an opponent. Locke believes the government should have limited authority, so it could be the protector of liberty, not the opponent. Letters concerning toleration, John Locke discusses how the government should not interfere in religion in any way. People should be free to do what they wish in regards of their own faith. Locke does argue, however, that the government should be put in place to protect property rights. Locke published his essay concerning human understanding, which became a major part of psychology in the 18th century. Locke believes that the mind at birth is a blank slate, which gets filled with content after further sensual experiences. This idea rejects the idea of original sin, which is found in the Bible. Though this rejects original sin, Locke's philosophy still holds a stable place in religion. Believing that divine revelation can reach humans through scripture and human reason itself, meaning that men can deduce God's existence simply through reality. To Locke, religion and rationalism worked together perfectly. Using this pair, people could find the perfect faith without any conflict. This is David Starkey with BBC's History Programs. Have a great life. John Locke. John Locke. We're in a Newtonian age.